Hello to everyone. How are you? This is Joanna and today is Monday. Make sure I got my day straight. It is indeed the day after Christmas. I was off yesterday. Um, I wanted to share with you, even though I had said, and I had meant it when I said it, I wasn't going to Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale. I have most of everything that I want. We all know that. There are a few items though that I mentioned that I did want, even though I didn't need them. And then... I wanted to go to Victoria's Secret. That's where I started off at. I was going out to the mall today, even though we have snow here. It was actually snowing on top of the snow when I left this morning. And I went out to the mall. I came straight back. I did go over by Bath and Body Works um, because it was like nine o'clock. They were opening up and something ended up happening that got me in there, which I'll explain in a little bit. After I got done in there, though, I went to Victoria's Secret. They had five for 38. I'm like, where is this $6.99 sale that you have online? They used to honor the online here where I live at. Even if the sale was not in the store, they would honor it if you could show it was online because they wanted your business. They didn't, they would rather you buy something than to leave and not buy anything or even to place an online order that takes away from the store sales. But today I was met with, well, we're not having our semi-annual sale this week because we have been allowed time for returns. I said, oh, really? I said, so everybody else is having all of these sales and y'all ain't selling anything at all that is online for sale? She said, no. I said, so if I want these items for $6.99, I have to order, right? She said, yeah, because if I get the items in there, right, and I get them at five, four, thirty-eight, dollars I'm going to take them back and exchange them anyway. I don't understand why they do this. The stores that don't do this and the stores that honor, you know what I mean, an online sale, I feel like that's smart on their part because they limit the foot traffic of the returns and things like that, so... Because I was feeling a bit under the weather and I was already at the mall, I did run into someone who wanted to treat me to some things. And I had said that I didn't really want anything, but they knew that I was after a few things and it was family that I hadn't seen in a while. And that was really sweet and nice because I was really staying out of here. And I've been feeling under the weather. Y'all know how that goes. So I got kind of scared. I pulled out these little tests that we got in the mail, right? Because I'm worried. I mean, I don't have anything major going on, but last week I was so under the weather that I was taking the Mucinex and I was drinking the tea and I actually wanted chicken noodle soup. I didn't want anything else. So I have about six of these around here. I did break into one. So far, so good, but you can never be too sure. So let me share with you what I got. And like I said, I was treated to this today. So we're going to start with this twisted peppermint here because there's a small little story connected to this y'all know there's always a small little story where i'm concerned so this set right here i do have some older pieces of twisted peppermint most of them i gave my daughter but i think i have a small mini mist that i did not give her but i really wanted to go ahead and try this new one and it's so pretty and I always omit this. Now I haven't loved Twisted Peppermint since it first came out. It had to have been around 2012. Y'all remember when they first released Twisted Peppermint, it came in a cream and I explained to you how it had that beautiful um, sheen of like fresh fallen snow. When you would put it on, it had the most beautiful glitter that would be on your skin and it wasn't too big, it wasn't too much. It was just the most beautifulest sparkle on your skin. They quit making it like that. And then later on, they made it a lotion. But this came out back when Wicked Hot Chocolate was brand new. Simply Divine Pie. They had the um, ice cream sundae scent. They had the um, crazy caramel corn that a lot of the tweens and teens were going crazy over. But because I had been feeling under the weather, I decided that maybe... I'd go ahead and try this little trio. Now, we didn't have any body cream, or I probably would have gotten one. Each of these were $3.95, so this is what I went ahead and got. And like I said, family treated me to this. They were going in there anyway, and they said, even though you're saying you don't want anything, Joanna, I know there's always something you do want, which was the truth, because I had just shared with y'all 
about that cozy, cozy evening set. So I did go ahead and get these. I think the Falling Flurries um, was not available online. And I was wondering because I was hoping that this would smell like that soap that I used to like. But I don't see lavender in here. So I don't know. I just got it just because. And this one was one that I really wanted. I should have gotten two or three of these. So I don't see me going back out there on my own because I really do have enough. But if I end up going out there, it would be to get another one of these. So the next thing that I did get was this. Um, I want to try this. The method that I've been using with my unscented body wash and my unscented bars of soap has been really effective. But you have heard me say the shower gels that I've been using are the ones that I was already using before I felt like they reformulated them and the few irritated my skin. So I'm going to go ahead and try that with this because I really do like this. They did not have any coffee and whiskey. I do believe, though, that my store pulled it. They always pull certain things. I do believe that they pulled it. Um, so I may or may not get one. I didn't get anything to exchange anything because, like I said, this whole purchase was a gift. And I'm very thankful to the person that got it for me. And, of course, they were right when they said that there was something that I always want. This is the one that I mentioned to you all that is just like the other one that I have over there. But I love the aesthetic of this one better. And I don't think the last time it came in a lotion. So let me see something really quick. This one is the original one that I have. And I haven't touched it. I believe I got this in a cream and I got it in a mist. And I don't recall if I got the lotion or not. Because I do remember one of these. I definitely picked up a three-piece set. But I do believe, as you can see, these have the exact same notes. Kind of like our um, vanilla mocha martini or whatever they called it. But I love this better. I just love the tan. So... Because I haven't touched this to the cream, I'll most likely just give it away um, because I like this better. And I really felt like this smelled better in this version. And I just like the way this looks. So that is all that I got. I just wanted to share that. So even trying to be good and stay out of there, it doesn't work when you have people that know what you like. Um, and I'm very thankful to them. And this was like a little treat. After that, I came straight home. I wanted to go to Crumble Cookie, right? We all know that. They were closed today. I didn't know that. I'm glad I looked that up before I went there. Then I found out I have a card that entitles me to a free Chick-fil-A sandwich. But because I was out at the mall at 9 this morning, they weren't going to open till 10. So I'll probably go back out tomorrow or Wednesday again, even though we have the snowy weather. Um, I just didn't know, you know, what I wanted to do too much today, but I got out a little bit. I don't intend on getting out much. I came home and made a hot cup of tea. So that is it, guys. I am, though, however, looking at all of y'all's videos and still looking at y'all's information. Even though I'm a bit miffed with Bath and Body Works and I don't really want much, usually here lately i'm not after what they're re-releasing i'm after what's to come and there's plenty of what's to come that i am interested in so until the next time everyone have a fantastic monday i hope your christmas and your holiday was well and i'll see you in the next one